With only a couple of major winter storms this past season, we are taking a closer look tonight at the impact on our roads. We talked to Dan Weigarten from MDOT. He says they have an annual budget for winter maintenance. They base that budget on a five year average. He says they are looking at below average expenses for maintenance this year. Just because it's a warm winter doesn't mean it's going to be an easy winter for plowing. Um, if it's r hovering right around freezing for a good part of the winter, you may end up putting down more salt, um, doing more treatment on the road than you would if it got cold and stayed cold. So there's a lot of variables. The five-year average helps us kind of even out and, and predict uh, what we might expect from year to year. Um, and this year, the budget that we had for our MDOT direct forces was set at around four and a half million dollars. Some benefits of a more mild winter, spring weight restrictions on roads were lifted early. Some construction projects can get an early start and money saved from the winter season can be reallocated to other services. As far as MDOT goes, once the winter is over, we have to spend any remaining maintenance funds in uh, in the maintenance allotment this year. Anything that's left over can be allocated towards additional maintenance projects, uh, stuff like brush clearing, culvert maintenance, bridge deck patching, pothole filling, um, fixing guardrails, things like that. And counties, uh, the contract counties are also allowed to use their leftover budget for non-winter maintenance activities on the state highway trunk line. So the upshot is that if we're under in winter, that means we can do more maintenance activities, some of which we just never are able to get to because of financial constraints during, during the summer. We also spoke to Kevin Harju at the Hote County Road Commission. While this past season did provide some savings, they say it only accounts for a portion of the funding they need. We usually spend about $2.2 million um, removing snow during the winter. Um, of course, this was an odd winter with some warmer weather. Um, we're probably about $800,000 less than um, spending, primarily due, due to uh, fuel usage and and material usage but primarily fuel um, so that's enabled us to do a lot more routine maintenance on our equipment also helped us to offset um, some of the monies that we still haven't received yet for reimbursement from the father's day flood in 2018 um, we're still owed about four million dollars on those projects so that's quite frustrating we still have a project that we're trying to get approved in ripley for about $5 million um, from that flood. And in addition to that, um, we had some spring damage last year where we're trying to get funding for that also. So um, $800,000 is a lot of money and it's nice to save that in the winter, but we really did need it to try to offset some of these other expenses that were unanticipated. He says the Road Commission's budget is typically about five to six million dollars. While they wait for millions of dollars in reimbursement, it creates a challenge for them on what they can and spend money on. 